if v is equal to 2x square plus a 6y square voltage or v in free space the energy is stored in a volume defined by x y z from minus 1 so this is your minus 1 to plus 1 and this is obviously this is in a closed interval they are asking what is the value now we know that how to attempt this question energy stored energy stored w e electrostatic energy this is given as half of integration epsilon naught mod of e square into dv correct so this is the basically energy stored so uh, that means i want volume we can easily find because this is a cartesian coordinate system so we can easily find the volume the main thing that we have to find the electric field now as potential v it is given as 2x square plus 6y square isn't it so how you will find the electric field e is given as minus of del v correct so minus of del v means minus of so this is in cartesian coordinate system so del upon del x so that means first of all it will come 4x ax plus 12y ay isn't it so this is the value we are going to get so that means first <coughs> you have to differentiate with respect to x and then we have to differentiate with respect to y so therefore i am going to get minus of 4x ax minus of 12 times of a y now i want its magnitude uh, sorry 12 y this is a 12 y a y isn't it now we want magnitude so how to get the magnitude so therefore mod of e is how much this is a 4 x whole square plus 12 y whole square root under right so this is how much this is a 16 x square plus 144 y square root under but i want mod of e square so mod of e square will be how much 16 x square plus 144 y square now we have got the e value now we can just directly substitute if you look here so there nothing has been said okay yeah it is said that it is free space so that means epsilon will be equal to epsilon not itself so therefore what is your w e it is equal to half epsilon naught you can take outside uh, mod of e square it is a 16x square plus 40, 144y square and dv since it is Cartesian coordinate system so it will be dx dy and dz so we have selected Cartesian coordinate system isn't it fine so now we can easily integrate it so this is your epsilon naught upon 2 now this is your basically we can integrate as uh, 16x square dx into dy into dz plus 144 y square dy integration of dx integration of dz. Now if I look at the range of x and y and z, so the range is given between minus 1 to 1, right. So range is from minus 1 to 1. So I will put minus 1 to 1. Correct. So therefore, this is how much? This is equal to epsilon naught upon 2. Now this is your 16 times x cube upon 3 from minus 1 to 1 y from minus 1 to 1 z from minus 1 to 1 plus 144 y cube upon 3. Uh, this is from minus 1 to 1 x minus 1 to 1 z minus 1 to 1. 1. So now we have to just calculate it. So this is how much? Uh, <coughs> so this is your epsilon naught upon 2. Now this is your 16 into now this is 1 minus 1. So it into it will be 2 by 3, isn't it? And this will be your 1 minus minus 1. So 1 plus uh, 1. It is 2 into 2 plus 144 into uh, this is 1 plus 1, 2 by 3 into 2 into 2 isn't it now uh, we can put like this also epsilon naught so just this is a simple calculation so uh, we can put uh, divide everywhere by 8 so uh, 2 so it will be uh, 8 into 8 by 3 
plus. So this is your 72. So that means uh, 72 into 8 by 3. So this is how much? So it is your epsilon naught into 72 plus 8, 8, 80 into 8 by 3. So let us calculate it now. So this is your 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 80 into 8 divided by 3. So let us calculate it using the help of calculator. Right. So <coughs> 8.85 to the power minus 12 into 80 into 8 uh, divided by 3. So it is coming, uh, just I will put it in the 1.89 into 10 to the power minus 9. 1.89 into 10 to the power minus 9 joules. Okay, so answer is 1.89 kind of. So uh, they are asking in what which what is the unit they have given? Okay, uh, I think they have not given the unit. It should be in some nanojoule, isn't it? Because if it is your NAT, so that means it should be in nanojoule. So what is the answer? It is your one point. So I can say that it is your 1.89 nano joules isn't it so answer will be 1.89 so this is the final answer correct okay